I'm Angie. I'm 26 years old, single. I have a ton of friends, a closet full of clothes. Ta-da! And shoes, that's a whole different story. But the one thing I don't have, a man. So I've decided to try speed dating. Wish me luck. So I'm here at Lux to try Fast Life speed dating with style. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Fast Life Speed Dating with Style at Lux Bar in Toronto. Speed dating is its essentially like a cocktail party. There's 20 people that show up, uh, equal numbers of men and women. Every five minutes, I'm going to ring that gong, and that's your cue, gentlemen, to get up and move to the next table. This is your personal map folder. The blue area is for you to write down the names of the people that you meet this evening and put a yes-no beside them. The following day, we'll send an email to all the people who, who received a match, and they can take it from there. There are some definite cuties back there. It's nice to see some tall ones, some dark-haired guys. Some tips that I've been given from the people who have been here before are to come up with some creative open liners, something friendly, talk about traveling. So these are all things that are kind of going on in my brain. You're brave enough. Yeah. Good. So what do you do for fun? Do you go out and exercise? Go for bike rides? Going down to the beach a lot with my friends, the Rollerblade, uh, beach volleyball, anything. How about you? I like the police ones. You what? Lied to the police at home. I think it might even be insurance fraud. Where have you traveled? I've been to England quite a few times, Norway quite a few times. My parents are from there. Your parents? <laughs> You have to ask a question. Okay. I got oh, nothing. Sure. No, um, we only have five minutes. I know, here. I know. Wow. You're killing me now. Yep. Nice to meet you. you. You're sitting here and you'll have a good question and you just want to ask it. And I'm like trying to find the fast life people so I can see out of the corner of my eye whether they're going to bong it. Ask me a question. Do you have any weird collections? Do you have any weird collections? Do I have what? Do you have any weird collections? My icebreaker question is whether or not a guy has a collection. If he can flat out come up with something quirky and great, I figure he's got something to him. Weird collections? No. I used to have a weird Like what? I used to collect matches. Matches? Matches. Like matches from all around the world. You know what? I do have a collection. It's not so much strange. Rocks from around the world. Oh. Why, do you have any weird collections? I collect Trident gum wrappers. Trident? Yeah. I used to work for Trident. <gasps> okay. But I don't have any wrappers. Oh my god, yeah. you worked there. <laughs> it's a sign. <laughs> you collect rocks from around Toronto, like this was, yeah. you know, Spadina and yeah. Queen. Yeah. Was that like a childish childhood thing? You started that? Childish? Childhood. Is that a Freudian slip? It was, I'm amazed. No, well, mine okay, was. Bong. Did you just hear that? I think it's over. It's over. It's over. Oh. Next, it was nice to meet you. Now I work for Nuclear Power Plant. Aren't you worried about what it's doing to you? Maybe. Like, what are you doing to me right now, just sitting there? I don't know. She was nice, very energetic, seemed intelligent, outgoing. I kind of didn't feel like she maybe asked enough about me. Well, you said you're kind of sarcastic. I don't know, is that get in the way of, like, yeah. scares guys away? You're one of those people who just has to be right all the time. You're like my brother. Yeah. And it's like you could have a book of like just things that Michael says. And it's never right. I have a book like that. <laughs> it's like it's called Bullshit. It's a bestseller. <laughs> Michael and I, we were really fighting, but there was like some tension over, you know, viewpoints. But that's passion. I thought she was completely wrong in everything she said. She made absolutely zero sense. And it was completely illogical and it didn't flow. But other than that, it was it was enjoyable. You know you've got really nice eyes. So do you. Thank you. I was thinking that. Thank you. I was We're actually... like brother sister. You kill me. And the worst part is, is, is that it really hurts. It hurts me inside. Muffin, Pookie. Well, it's one of the things that I look for in a person is the ability to find a pet name for them pretty, you know, quickly, right up front, right away. We're at pet names and it's only been three and a half minutes. Okay. 
I think that this is actually anything but exhausting. It's almost exhilarating because you meet so many fabulous people, you have a short period of time to do it in, and you just fly through it all, and that bonging thing is stressful, but man, is it ever fun. Okay, there we go. As if you just said, there we go, like, take that hand. Oh, interesting.